I'm Megan McLean. Um, I'm a first year master's student here in mechanical engineering. My group was working with the Jiper Foot Organization, um, also known as the BMVSS, to develop a extremely low cost upper arm prosthetic. Currently, the BMVSS distributes custom fit prosthetics to lower limb amputees. There are some guys who worked with the same sponsor last year. In this class, we developed a knee for their lower limb amputees. This year, they continued the project with our upper arm. So with the development of such a prosthetic, they would be able to serve a much greater community. Uh, some of our challenge was uh, coming up with criteria for exactly what it needed to do in terms of what the need is in rural India, working in the field, being rural villages. Um, also developing a design that was really robust and would last for five years. So someone could come from a thousand miles away or, or as many of them do to get fitted at a clinic and then have it last in the field. So we sort of had two design paths for the elbow, both of which we thought were really robust. Um, one is very easy to clean and very quick assembly. The other has a few more moving parts, but I think would be very robust and last that amount of time. Um, one is friction locking, um, has clamps down a series of teeth, and another has a button that slides back and forth um, that we're really excited about. It has a very aesthetic appeal. The button, um, if it's in the locked position, which you can do by clamping it against your body, sort of, um, a tooth right now goes into a middle section that's swinging. So if it's locked, you can hold something up. It can be like if you were to you know, just carry a box or something in your arms. Um, that's in the locked position. And in the unlocked position, if you push on the outside of the arm, it allows it to freely swing, which is something that's pretty important for them. And to be able to wear a long sleeve shirt and walk and have your arm act and appear as if you, know, you don't have an amputation, um, that would be great. We hope that we can get some help and go over to India and see the clinic really test out our designs and gather some information so we can iterate on them and continue making them better. We're all in this class because we like putting our engineering to use and having it really have a positive impact on people and their way of life. And so seeing something like this that we've developed go and be deployed in India and used by people in need would be really incredible. So I think that's why a lot of us are looking forward to still working on the project and hopefully going over there to see it in action and continue improving it.